Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a products that I've used up for the month of, what month? November. Yeah, these are pretty much all the products that I've used up this past month. I'm getting back into the swing of using up products again. And I switched up my background again, just like moved it over a little bit. So now you get to stare at this little pillow that I made. I actually made this one too. I'm obsessed with making pillows. If you watched my videos back at my old apartment, you saw my old pillows that I made as well. And then this one I made too. I just kind of drew that, stenciled it on, and painted it. Pretty basic. And then this chair is from Target. So that is my background situation. Let's get into the products that I've used up this month. I have a disaster in this bag, just you wait. But um, I'll dig in and then when I get to it, I'll explain it. Yeah. So the first thing I used up this month was the Neutrogena Oil-Free Cleansing Wipes in Pink Grapefruit. This is the Acne Prone Skin one. I was sent this. Neutrogena sent me a little care package and this was one of the products that was in it. You know, I will say that I liked this for days that I wasn't wearing makeup or like I just got done with the gym or I was about to go to the gym and I wanted to clean my face when it was already clean, but I did not like removing my makeup with this. I didn't think that it worked. It didn't work bad, but it left a weird residue on my face and I hate having to wash my face after I use makeup wipe. And then I'm not sure if you're supposed to or not, but I would have to. And then, um... It kind of left a sticky residue and then it burnt my eyes. It was way too, like, it wasn't sensitive enough for my little sensitive eyes. So, um, they're okay. I don't think I would run home and repurchase them, but they would be nice to have on hand. Like, again, I said, if I'm, like, just really quickly doing my face before I go to the gym. But, honestly, I could just wash it with a little bit of the um, oil-free cleanser that I like, the foaming cleanser from them. I like that way better. And I feel like it's just, yeah, easy. So, I probably wouldn't repurchase these. Okay, the next thing in my box is a body wash. Um, I think I got this as a gift a while ago, um, but it is just the Avon Skin So Soft Signature Silk um, Creamy Body Wash. This was nice. I like using like a creamy body wash like this to shave, so pretty much anyone would work. I don't purchase Avon, and I don't like, I don't know, my grandma used to, so that's why I had it, and I think that's, I don't know how I got it, not sure. But yeah, it's okay, it was nice. It came in like a kit, it came with a body wash, a body lotion, and then a body like gel, and I like the gel, but this was like okay, I used it up because it was just chilling, but I don't think I would ever repurchase this. But I do like creamy body washes to shave my legs and stuff like that, yes. I do like that. I finished up a contact solution. This is just the Publix Sterile No Rub Multi-Purpose whatever solution. I realized that you probably should still rub. When I went to the eye doctor this month, she told me that I was really bad about taking out my contacts, which I've been better, and that I'm supposed to rub with the solution, even if it says no rub. You should still rub it. It helps. So, um, I got the, I think, I got a different brand this time, but yeah, same pretty much difference. I think it's a light rub or something, so I remember still to rub, because if it says no rub, I'm like, eh, eh I'm not rubbing, but yeah contact solution. Pretty generic, basic stuff. I finished up a mouthwash. This is the Crest Pro Health Invigorating Clean. Um, this wasn't bad, but I like Scope or um, Listerine better than the Crest Pro Health. It's not bad, but I just don't think I would ever repurchase this. Um, it didn't burn enough, and I actually like the burn. Feel the burn. So, mm -mm, don't think I would repurchase that. Okay, here's the mess that I'm talking about. I don't know if you just heard that. But this broke. I like threw in a lotion, which I will show you in a bit. But I got this because um, it was at Walmart. I was looking for, I don't know, oh, those sticky clings that stick in the side of your, um, uh, what do you call it, trash so that it doesn't stink. Yeah, I don't know why. I just was looking for those, couldn't find them. And I saw this, and it was the candles that looked just like the Three Wick candles from Bath & Body Works. And this one was in Mahogany Driftwood, which is like Mahogany Teakwood, which was one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. And it was like $5. So I was like, what a steal. So I picked one up. Mm -mm, don't, don't buy them. They're not good. They burned so quickly, and I feel like this the wax is just a heck of a lot softer. So it burned really, really quickly, and I didn't smell anything out of it. It smelled really good in the jar, but when it was burning, it just didn't work. So don't recommend them. Always purchase. I have a new one, Mahogany Teak Wood Burning. Now, do not skip and try to purchase those because they are not good. So if anything, that's one thing you learned today. 
ta-da! Um, I finished up a conditioner. This is one of my favorites. I always repurchase this. It's the Pantene Pro-V Daily Moisture Renew. It's just really, really nice. This is the big one. Um, I always go through more conditioner than shampoo. But basically, yeah, I love this stuff. It's very thick, really, really creamy, creamy, really, really creamy, and um, yeah, it hydrates my hair. And yeah, I love it. So that's pretty much all I purchased. Let me know in the comments what your favorite conditioner is because I like literally never venture away from Pantene. Um, I've never tried any of the Garnier Fruities, so let me know if those are any good because yeah, I always see them and I'm like, ooh, but I never try them. I probably should because they're like affordable. But I finished up a toothpaste, it wouldn't be products I've used up without my crust 3D what so this is yeah the radiant mint the only toothpaste I get the only thing that makes my mouth feel clean because I got a dirty mouth anyways <laughs> let's dig in okay I this is the thing that broke my candle this is the love of my life though this is the L'Oreal collagen moisture filler moisturizer <sighs> it smells so fragrant but just smells like warm peaceful bedtime to me it's so thick, so hydrating, so amazing. It's really, really affordable at the drugstore, and I need to pick up another one. I'm obsessed with this stuff. It's very hydrating, though. Like, it'll sit on your skin. So I only use it as a nighttime moisturizer, and even though this is day and night, mm -mm, no. And I would recommend this for dry skin. But oily skin, you can get away with it. Uh, just go lighter on it. But it feels so luxurious, and when I wake up in the morning, my skin just feels like refreshed and pulp plump and beautiful and lovely so i love that and i need to repurchase another one of those stat um i finished up a nail polish remover which i need another one i only have acetone now i'd like a non-acetone and an acetone depending on the type of my polish and how hard it's going to be this is just the one from up and up basic um acetone the non-acetone isn't typically my favorite but it's a lot like less harsh on my nails and cuticles and stuff but it's still just like not my favorite but it does the job so yeah and I just picked up the store brand because it was there and it's cheap oh my god I have to tell you I used up a rapid lash this is like my love if you watched my November favorites which I will link down below you guys know I started using this stuff again it's amazing. It seriously, seriously, seriously works. Um, I purchased mine at walmart.com for like 30 bucks and it's love. I'm not kidding you. It works. If you have problems with eyelashes, freaking buy this because it works. Like, not kidding. End of story. End of rant. A couple last little products in here and it's a 10. Duh, because I live. This is the only product that I basically ever use in my hair. This one is just a mini one, but I have the large one in my thing now. I do not like the one for blondes. It leaves a weird film in my hair. I just don't like it. I don't know what it does. I don't like it. Only the regular one, not the keratin one. Just plain old. It's literally what I live by to keep my hair and my ends not all straggly and gross. Ooh, this has glass in it. Yeah. I finished up Clinique. Take off the day. I make and remover. This was just like a sample size that I probably got in a kit. Eh, I don't really use it that much. I don't love it. I literally use it for when I get mascara on my upper lid and I'm not wearing anything else. I take a little brush in there, move it, and then remove my mascara. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend this. It's not my favorite. I like the Neutrogena one a whole lot better. So or the Lancome one if you're into like our higher end ones. That one's way better too. And then last but not least, I finished up a mascara. This is the Maybelline Falsies Flared. I love this stuff. I already repurchased another one. It just dries out so so quickly, but it looks great on my lashes. It's kind of a little hard to get off at night, even with an oil cleanser. Um, but it's amazing. The Volume Express Flared like Holy Grail Mascara. Right now I've been using the um, L'Oreal Carbon Black. That one's amazing too, the voluminous one. But anyway, you guys, those were all of my products that I've used up for this month. I hope you guys liked this new background. Let me know if you want me to like switch between the two or I could film in front of my tree or I could film in front of my like TV standy thing. I figured it's kind of different to see a little switch up or if you're like, no, I like the same background all the time. You're probably pretty boring, but I guess I could make an exception for you guys. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed and are having a wonderful beginning of the month of December. My birthday is in a couple of days and I'm going home in like a week and a half. I'm so excited. So anyways, you guys, I will talk to you later.